So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can run an AI project called Tech UI. That is an RPA to run on the MOE SSOE machine. This, this is a perfectly legitimate uh, course and there is no infringement of copyright or security breaks and all that. So it is a perfectly legitimate use case. Lah. So what you need to do is you need to download this file. Down, after you download it, maybe say you download it in the D drive, then you can come to this D drive. Uh, let me see whether I can download it. So after you download it, put it in the D drive, it will ask you to save it somewhere. You agree to save it in the D drive. Let's say here, and then you then you let it download, and then you unzip it. So it's downloading now. So you unzip it and it create a folder called RPA. Okay, so I'm gonna unzip it. It takes a, a rather long time to typically unzip it. So I will just talk you through some of the steps. So you extract it. You extract, and then it will say uh, extract where so you agree to the D drive first. Okay, after extracting, which will take a long time. So I'm going to go back to the folder. So let's assume that you have already extracted it and then it is uh, something that you can drag into a folder. So you create an RPA folder, then you put everything inside this folder here. So it will look something like this, okay? So the next thing you need to do is you need to check how can the RPA work. So you need to go to command prompt. So let's say you go to command prompt, you click on this magnifying glass, you type CMD, it will launch a command prompt, okay? Navigate to the D drive. Navigate to the D drive. Uh, C, uh, D colon. Then your directory. So it will be all the things that you have inside. So you CD RPA and do a directory to check. So you need to do all this. Just to check that the file is correct and cd samples, I think. Uh, directory cd flows directory. So I really key in uh, in this the directory called Lukang. So I'm going to go to GitHub. Then you can click on this thing called download. Download all the code that I've collated over the past year, then you can save it inside. Let's say uh, you create inside this thing called flow, then you create a, a extra folder, maybe say call uh, you know, Lawrence or something, you know, then you, you save it inside here. So it looks like Tech UI has, has finished unzipping. Okay. So I'm going back to tell you ISO here, you can actually just rename rename this thing called RPA. Uh, no, because I already have an RPA, so you, you call it RPA1. Then, you know, you have the same file structure as the example I've given you. Lah. Oh. So the flows are all trapped here. So this is a fresh new installation. Uh, I will take over this one. I'll continue my explanation over here. So in this particular flow, uh, Lawrence, so you're going to unzip this. You have to extract all the files. Okay. Hey, hang on, uh, I'm stuck on the screen. So you, you say extract, you just agree to the default location. So it will be saved inside here, Lawrence. Then typically I will, as a habit of sorts, I will just control A, select all, control X to cut it. 
then I will go back to the main uh, folder where Lawrence was the folder. So I'll, I'll paste it here. And then you can you can delete the rest of the files. Uh, this should be empty and this should can be deleted already. So if you don't want to delete, it's fine. So there's a very important step is uh, remember we were in the command prompt. Typically, if you type type UI now, uh, it's supposed to fail. Uh, huh? It's supposed to fail. So what you need to do is you need to make the path, uh, include the type UI path. So I have already included uh, a page. Okay, and in this page, you see that there's this particular string. So come to the command prompt, paste this in. What it does is it sets the path to the new directory D RPA tell you I source and then we concatenate it with the old path so that it doesn't mess up the whole path. So now if you were to type path, then now you will have the additional as uh, the RPA from the uh, RPA from the tell you I oh, so it concatenate the rest. So now if you type tag UI, it should now be recognizable. Of which now, then you navigate CD, uh, you know, to, for my case, I will, I will do my name, then I'll do a directory. Then let's say I want to run any particular file. Let's say I want to run uh, uh, something more complicated. Uh, maybe say uh, CD login. Then inside this particular directory, there's a login. So I just, Run the file called tag UI login sls 4tech So when you when you run this particular command, then tag UI will, will launch into the background. And bearing in mind this is running in SSOE. So uh, the first few time, because after a very successful uh, workshop or uh, uh, mentoring that I did with my colleagues. Uh, I thought it's good to always share these uh, steps in the SSOE machine. So in the, SSO, in the SSOE environment, you can see that now it is doing all the steps in the code. Now it is, uh, oh, sorry, let me bring it. No, it's not this one. So it's going to the email, it's getting the OTP and all that. Uh, and the code runs uh, on any machine, Mac, Windows, uh, of course, now you can see that it also runs on a MOE SSOE machine. So this has very big potential for scaling up digitization, um, improving your robotic automated processes that you, you may like send email, or in my case, I crawl SLS for the data. Then I, that, I eventually send this out as email to the reviewers to get them to review the, the lessons then if you are more sophisticated, basically this can do a lot, a lot of uh, interesting activity, which you, the, the benefit of this is, of course, if you were to do this on a very regular basis, and there's a lot of mundane uh, rule-based uh, clickings and, and checking the website and then sending emails and all that, this is uh, one of the best tools that you can do uh, without infringing on copyrights uh, without infringing on IT security policy because this is an AI Singapore project. The, the source code is open and is completely free from any virus that I'm aware of. Lah. Okay, so this will do all the, so you see, this is an SSO machine, so it's already running. Okay. So I hope that with this tutorial, you can uh, explore TUI on your own, even on an SSO machine.